Hello and welcome to the next instalment in our A to Z videos on general paediatric conditions and complaints. And today is the term for S and we're doing S for Severs disease. Actually, we don't like to call it Severs disease because it's not a disease. So we'll give it its proper name, calcaneal apophysitis. And what that is, is an inflammation of the growth plates at the back of the heel, the calcaneum. And it's the most common heel pain that we see in growing children. And for boys, we normally see it between 8 and 15 and girls about 8 to 13. And really, it stops once that growth plate closes. Once the growing has finished, these children have hit puberty and the calcaneus is no longer growing. But the most common cause generally is when the leg bones, the tibia and the fibula, grow a lot quicker than the muscles can actually keep up with them. And that puts a lot of stress and strain on that growth plate in the heel. Also around this age, children tend to be a lot more active. They're taking part in a lot of sports, doing a lot of running, jumping, especially in school sports. And so they're putting repeated stress and strain through that heel as well. Obviously weight is a factor. If children are a little overweight, that will be adding to the stress and the strain and can be a cause as well. So what can we do about this? Well, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. There's not a lot you can do apart from try and make sure that your child is wearing the best foot where they can, that it's securely on the foot, that it has good cushioning in the sole, and that will reduce the chance. But if they do get heel pain and it is diagnosed as this severs or calcaneal apophysitis, First of all, you have to rest. Stop doing the activity that's causing the problem. You can ice it and elevate it and get that inflammation down as much as possible. And general pain relief as well, if it's required, um, can be quite successful at alleviating the discomfort a little bit. We can give stretches to try and help stretch out that calf muscle while it's waiting to catch up with the bone growth. And insoles can help as well. Sometimes it's related to a flatter foot and so trying to change the foot position slightly can take some of the stress and strain off. And the gel heel pads can also be quite successful as well. Now another cause of this can be a limb length difference and that is something that can last throughout the life. So it is worth getting it checked if your child is suffering from any heel pain. Um, get it looked at by a podiatrist and we can always advise on exercises and footwear and insoles. So that is your S for Severs disease or calcaneal apophysitis. Make sure to keep an eye on NK Sports Podiatry for their A to Z of MSK conditions. And uh, any questions or comments, please feel free to add them below or message me directly.